Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Little Tika and Big Eats. As always, I'm your host Ari and on tonight's family dinner menu, we are having one of the easiest soups slash dinners that I can make for our family and it's a black bean soup with hard boiled eggs and rice. You'll note that we are not going to be using chicken or meat, but we don't always have to eat that. Most of our protein in this dish is going to come from, again, our beans and our eggs. I also would like to note, you guys, that um, we just got over COVID. It struck again, and this time it was quite hard to get through it. It lasted quite a while. So today is a day that's very busy, and now we're playing catch up with all the things we couldn't get done. So this meal right here is our go-to for a quick fix. Up next. All right, guys. So since we are making this recipe quite quick, we are going to be using canned Goya beans. These are almost already prepared and definitely already cooked, and they'll facilitate our process. However, if you'd like to make your own beans, by all means, you can always grab a bag at the store, use your trusty Instant Pot, and we can just make those real quick and continue with this recipe. That'll be another recipe, that'll be another video. However, let's get started. I have already hard boiled my eggs. I have six eggs here because this recipe is going to yield three servings. We all know how to boil those eggs, but if not, let's just make sure we fill our pot of water. We heat it up, bring it to a boil, toss those eggs in, let them boil for about 11 minutes, and then you're done. Let's start with the rice today though. We are sticking to our plain white rice, basmati rice to be exact, because most of our flavor will come from our soup. So, I've already filled my pot with two cups of water because once again, you guys know that we use one cup of rice and it goes a long way here. So, let's light that up. And let's start bringing that water, ooh, I'm getting stuck. Let's start bringing that water to a boil. We are going to be adding a little bit of oil. Beautiful. And then a little bit of salt and pepper. Perfect. And we're just going to give that a good stir. And let it begin to boil. Once it's boiling, we know we got to toss our rice in there. But while we finish that up, Let's begin on our black bean soup. I already have a trusty, and once again, one of the new pots. Beautiful. But I got a trusty pot, and we're gonna work with this one today. Let's remove this. And as a matter of fact, let me bring it over so we can see it. Now, we are going to pour in a little bit of olive oil. Perfect. Let's remove that. And I have already pre-chopped the veggies that are going to go in here, but they're super quick, super simple. We are definitely going to be adding half a red pepper. Next, half a small onion. You guys know I love my veggies. Next, half a bunch of cilantro. Beautiful. Next, we're going to go in with our garlic. And as always, we're going to go in with one or two tablespoons. That'll be your choice. I'm going to do one and a half. You guys know I'm obsessed with garlic. Perfect. Now let's give that a good shake. Looks gorgeous. Next, we're going to go in with our favorite Kerrygold butter, and in this instance, we are going to use two tablespoons, okay, for that little bit of extra flavor. So let's pop that open. Drop that right in there. And let's move this to the side. Now, we are going to place this right back on our stove top, and we want to light it to a medium flame, okay? Very carefully, let's do that. 
because we want to start sauteing our vegetables so they may bleed out the flavor that we need before tossing in our beans. So let's give that a good stir. Let's break apart that butter as well. Beautiful. And we're going to let it start to sizzle. Now, our water is already boiling, so you know what's next. Our one cup of white basmati rice gets tossed right in there. And let's give that a good stir. Pretty perfect and pretty easy. Now, we're going to place the lid right back on. And we are going to let it come to a boil. It should take no longer than maybe a minute, okay? I hear those veggies sizzling. Let's give that a good stir again. We want that butter to start melting and the oil to be coating all of our veggies. That's beautiful. Already melting. I am in love with these new pots, guys. Everything cooks so quickly, nothing sticks. They're gorgeous. They're very lightweight, yet sturdy and durable. Great choice on that one. Now our water is boiling now for the rice. So let's lower that flame to a low flame. And we're gonna set our timer for those perfect 11 minutes. <clears throat> Pardon. Still got a little bit of a throat thing going on, but we're feeling good. And that's all I wanted. <laughs> Oh, that smells amazing. Next, guys, we're going to go in with our seasonings. I'm definitely going to be using a pack of the Goya Bouillon. Let's give that a good shake. Let's tear that. And it gets sauced right over our veggies. That's going to be a very delicious flavor. We're going to go in with our paprika, and we're going to sprinkle, it. We're going to sprinkle in a teaspoon. Next, our ground cumin. I definitely recommend that you uh, toss this in there. It gives it a beautiful flavor. We're gonna go in with the ground cumin and we're definitely gonna do a teaspoon as well. Then let's sprinkle in some of our basil leaves. Perfect. And a very light sprinkle of salt and black pepper. There we go, there we go. Now let's give that a good stir again. Get all those seasonings together, mix into those veggies. Perfect. And now we are just gonna go ahead, crack open our cans, super easy access. But here's a note, we're not draining the juices. We need these juices for the soup. Very carefully, toss that back there. And we're just gonna pour it right into our pot. Give that a good tap, we want all those beans in there. And feel free to use a spoon to get them out, okay? Some of them do get stuck at the bottom. Beautiful. Let's repeat that step with our second can. Perfect. I will definitely be making a video for those that are interested in making the beans from scratch, okay? But like I said, today we're playing catch up and we gotta catch up. Beautiful. Now, let me bring this over so you can see it. Our soup should be looking like this. All those beans are in there now. So we're gonna grab our measuring cup. By the way, one of the new ones, gorgeous. And we're gonna fill it up with water, one cup of water. We definitely need the broth. That's going with another cup. Perfect. We want definitely beans, but definitely broth. 
Now, let's give this a good stir. Oh, it's looking gorgeous already, you guys. And it smells amazing. I would usually use three cans of beans, but because I only need this to yield three big servings, um, I'm keeping it down to two. But if you want to have more servings, by all means, throw in another can of beans and another cup of water. Let's place this right back on our stove top. Beautiful. We're going to place our lid right back on. And now the rice has seven minutes, which is exactly what we'll need for the soup to cook. So once that's done, we're going to come back and we'll be ready to just put it together, you guys. And this is simplicity at its finest. It worked with our schedule today. Cheers. Up next. All right, guys. Quick reminder, our soup now has about 38 seconds left, so does the rice. So as soon as that's done, we're just gonna turn off those flames, okay? And let me show you how the rice is looking now. It's perfect. We're just gonna leave the lid cracked a little open and let's show you how the soup is looking. Guys, it's delicious. We're gonna give it a good stir and we are gonna let it cool down a little bit. There's no sense in trying to eat this and burn our mouth much too soon. All right, up next we'll be eating. All right guys, I believe our soup should have cooled down just enough. So let's go ahead and serve. Let's remove this lid somewhere safe. Let's not burn ourselves. And oh my God, it looks amazing. So. I have my little dish right here. Let's go ahead and grab our ladle, give it a good stir, and let's pick out some of our soup. Mmm. It's beautiful, you guys. It's quite nutritious and really, again, food for the soul. Let's get some of that broth in there very carefully. Beautiful. Oh, it is still hot, oh, but delicious. So here it is. You can add whatever you want to this. Um, our family prefers sometimes some fresh avocado slices. Definitely our hard boiled eggs. We'd love to top it off with some fresh cilantro. And even sometimes Lime, a little bit or a lot, but my baby sister would tell you that she needs like four limes. All right. So this is my portion. Therefore, I'm going to go in with one of our hard boiled eggs and just very carefully, we're just going to cut it down the middle. Beautiful. We're going to place that right in there, right on the side. Okay. Now for the rice. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab, oh, pardon, a small spoon and I'm just gonna fit in just a little bit because I prefer it to be mostly the soup. Perfect. Next, definitely you're gonna squeeze in a little bit of lime juice. Just a couple drops. Perfect. And last but not least, we're going to top it off with a little bit of that cilantro. Perfection, you guys. And again, one of the easiest meals we'll make. But here's to our favorite part. Let me bring that over. Let me show you what it looks like and let's have our bite. Check it out, you guys. Look how gorgeous that is. Super easy to make. Such a family pleaser, for sure. And now, we're just gonna go ahead and, ooh, let's take that bite. Let's also blow on it, though. Still quite hot. Mmm. Oh my God, as it goes down, it feels so good. And honestly, after COVID and a sore throat forever, 
it just feels so nice to eat something so light and so warm. Ooh. Here we go. And no, guys, I left my salt and my pepper out. If you guys want to add some, by all means do. I find that the flavor is already there. So, guys, thank you for joining me on a really quick episode. I really appreciate you guys viewing all these videos and subscribing and testing out these recipes for yourselves. I hope everyone is enjoying everything. It's so much fun to be with you guys and know that we're connecting this way. So cheers to us, guys, and I'll see you again on the next episode of Little Tika and Big Eats. Ciao! Stay healthy!